Hello, my name is Melissa Daniels, and this is Strabismus to Stereopsis, a channel where I talk all about the different tools and ways that I have gone from having my eyes point in different directions to working together and seeing in 3D. My vision is not perfect yet, but it has gone so much better. One of my very favorite tools for fixing strabismus is virtual reality. I have gone through four different headsets since 2019, and I will tell you that the games and technology has changed so much in the last six years. There are new games coming out that work with the new technology, and it's all so amazing. I'm gonna share with you today six apps that I am currently using that I'm really liking, especially with the new Oculus 3S headset. For links to all the games and a link to down or to purchase a headset, check out the description. If you use my link for a headset, you get $30 store credit and so do I, which is pretty fun because then I get to try lots of new apps and share my favorites with you. I think I have been through over 50 apps in the last couple months working on finding new apps that would work well for strabismus. And there have been a lot that I just threw to the side for one reason or another. So these are the ones as a 38 year old woman who is not into super creepy things or language or those types of things that you can sometimes find in virtual reality, but also apps that work really well for vision. And these are the ones that I've landed on. There are two main types of apps that I use to help with my vision. The first category is like specific vision therapy apps, apps that are designed to treat strabismus and amblyopia, games that are specifically tailored where one eye can see this part and the other eye sees this part and you have to use both eyes together to get the combined image or where it's testing your ability to converge and diverge your eyes as images are coming closer and further and you have to you know, click the one that's closest to you. So many of you have seen those types of activities. So there's those types of apps, love them 100%. Anyone with strabismus in an Oculus should have those apps. And then the other apps are apps that are just normal apps that are not like specifically designed for vision, but if you use them in the right way, can be really powerful for increasing spatial awareness, working on peripheral, um, for me working on calming my brain and breathing. So those, there, there are, different types of apps. So first let's talk about the actual vision therapy apps. And I will say that if you if you want more details on all of this, you can, I did write a full article. It's on strabismussolutions.com. You get the full article there, goes into a lot more detail about each of these apps. So I'm just kind of giving the quick version here so you guys don't get too bored. Let's talk about Optics Trainer first. This app was the very first app I used for vision therapy on my Oculus. It wasn't even an Oculus. I can't remember what it was called, but it was one of the first models with only one controller. And it has changed so much in the last six years. Josh, the owner, has added so many apps. He's added automated, automated um, programming so that you don't have to have it constantly adjusted and changed by your vision therapy office. It just automatically adjusts based on where your vision is at that day. So it's really working on your vergences and it works on making sure both eyes are working at the same time. I am going to go into a lot more detail in a video coming up when I interview Josh, but the basic idea is it's a fabulous app. He is constantly like improving it and making it better. The thing that I absolutely love about this app is the whole thing can be done in mixed reality. What that means is you have the headset on and there's fancy cameras on the headset that take a picture of the room that you are in and then it projects so you're watching this and it looks like you can just see the room you're in but then it takes the games and puts them into the room. So this is so, so powerful and I know I talk about this a lot on this channel but it's, it's taking your virtual world where it's really easy to use both eyes together, right? This, this virtual reality makes fusion and stereo so much easier for a strabismus brain, but then it's combining it with real space. And so it's giving you like that, that bridge between virtual world and real world, which is so needed. So I love that aspect of this game. Um, it's very affordable, $40 a month. It's all done through the Oculus App Store, the Meta Store. So it's really simple. It nothing. It, he's simplified the whole process. So 
definitely recommend that. If you use my link in the description below, you will get the first month for free. So definitely do that. Another vision therapy app that I love and that has gone through major updates as well in the last year is Equal Eyes. Equal Eyes is an app that was dis not discovered. It was created by a man in Australia named Mark. He also has strabismus and there were no vision therapy offices. So he started playing around with his Oculus and developed this app to help him with his vision. Over the last couple years, it has he has created so many new games. He is perfecting it. He is making it better constantly. There's a great community um, where people are talking about how to use the app. Um, Equal Eyes is a little bit more for the person who wants to experiment a little bit more. It's not so much of like a game where you're playing from start to finish, a, like the game there, and there are games, but it's more um, a, an exploratory app, which I love. You can adjust Prism in that app and kind of play with how um, changing the camera angles is going to help you get better fusion for longer. Um, there is like a Brock string. There are quoits, which are these 3D, do I even have mine? The one I always pull out on the string. Um, one of these guys, you know, these that I'm always talking about. Um, he has one of these in the virtual world and you can see the, the size and the depth change. It's so fabulous. And that's a, again, a great predece predecessor. That's a hard word. Um, you know, you probably, if you have strabismus and you looked at one of these with the polarized glasses, you probably wouldn't see any depth on it the first time or the first, I think it took me six months to see depth on one of these guys. Um, virtually, it's a lot easier. You're going to get it a lot more quickly and be able to see those depth changes. And so I love that he has some just like vision therapy tools that you would maybe see in a vision therapy office, but in a virtual space where it's a lot easier to get those things. Um, and then of course he has games, he has anti-suppression where each eye can see a different part. He's got some good fusion stuff in there. So I love both of those vision therapy apps. I use them both regularly. Um, they, they serve different purposes for me. And so anyways, again, with equal eyes, if you use my code MDVR, you do get 10% off, which is kind of awesome. And that one you pay for yearly, it's $200 for the whole year. And I think after the first year, the price goes down significantly just to kind of maintain. But again, like compared to some of the other things that you might be doing or vision therapy, like so inexpensive and you get so much value for it. So those two vision therapy apps, I think everyone with an Oculus and Strabismus should definitely have them both. Um, I will say that if you have children, I would probably aim more towards optics trainer. It's a little bit more automated so they can just click like daily workout and it takes them through a whole process. And I know how kids are, they like get distracted easily. I have a few of them. And so um, if you have like a really, I don't know, a kid that's really good at following directions and pretty steady, then either one would work. But if you've got one that's kind of all over the place, optics trainer is probably the better option. So those are the vision therapy apps. Now for the other apps that I am loving right now. Okay, first is Trip. I love Trip. Trip is a meditation app and it's got a lot of really cool features that I just love so much. So quick highlights. One feature is, so it's taking you like through a meditation. So it's like there's this person talking to you about like all the good things. It's like having a life coach. <laughs> it's it's kind of fun, but then like the world that you're looking at is actually really neat and there's a lot of stimulation. It's like you're like inside of a kaleidoscope or underwater depending on which meditation you choose. So there's so much going on like for space and peripheral, but then incorporated in that is breathing and um, yeah, it's the breathing for me, but like the mindset. I so much of the time when I'm trying to do a vision therapy exercise, I start stressing out and I start just like getting really tense. And so this is a perfect way for me to practice opening my peripheral vision, being aware of what's going on to the sides while I'm looking forward, right? But then also breathing. And so there's this, they use this really cool technology where it can actually tell if you're breathing in or breathing out based, I'm guessing on where, what the headset's doing. And so there's like bubbles that come in and bubbles that go out and things light up if you're doing it correctly and they don't if you're not breathing correctly. And there's a lot of different breath workout, like not workouts, but meditations. 
I absolutely love this app. I cannot, I don't know, I can't say enough about it. Um, the basic version is free and I, I don't know exactly what the difference is. I pay for the, um, like the extra, I think it's $30 a year, which is totally worth it to me um, just to have access to all the different features within the app. The other thing that Trip has is um, the Sanctum, and that's just basically like if you do enough meditations, then you earn prizes for the Sanctum, and it's a mixed reality, so it's in the room that you're in, and you can put like a jellyfish and like plants, and there's different things, and it's in the room that you're in, and it's kind of fun to interact with this giant jellyfish going across the sky, and you can kind of, it helps make space more real. Um, sometimes with Stir Business, we skip through the space and go straight to objects instead of like seeing all the things in between. And I love this, like, slow, it's very slow moving, moving. It's not quick paced or, you know, it's as slow as you want it to be, I guess. And you can just really take some time to, to think about that space and how does that space look and how, how does it, can you see around that jellyfish? So in trip, I, I love both of those things. Hey, next app that I love, Laser Thief. This is a new discovery. It's only available on the Oculus 3S or the Oculus 3. You have to have the high quality mixed reality cameras, but I love this one. My kids are going crazy for this one. I've actually used it with a few patients in the vision therapy office. It's so good. So basically, um, it takes a picture of the whole room that you're in and there's a little violence. I think you're supposed to be a thief. Like you break out of jail at first. So if you're not okay with that, don't do it because that's the very first part. Every time you open the app, it's like, oh, you're getting out of jail. Hit the button to blow up the wall and get out. So I don't know. This doesn't bother me too much. So anyways, what you do is it, it takes a picture of your whole space. So I do it in like my kitchen living room area. And then you put a button. It, it allows you to place a button on two walls wherever you want. And once you touch this button and push the button, lasers appear in your real space. It's so cool. And you have to dodge the lasers to get to where the other button is and you grab a prize and then come back. So this is so good because again, that spatial awareness and like, you know, you have a living room and of course we know where the couch and the piano, all these different things are in the room, but what about everything in between? How do you how do you make that space real? And so that's always a goal of mine is like making the space more real. So the lasers are giving you some more things to look at in between that space. And I sometimes will pause and I'll like put my hand around the lasers and really try to think peripherally opening that up. So love that game, really fun. Um, if you take the time to think about your peripheral, think about space, it can be really fun, especially I think kids go crazy for that one. Um, another one that I've been loving is called First Encounters and it's free. So anyone can get that. That's part of the reason I'm mentioning it because a lot of VR apps can be so expensive. So when I find a free one that's good, I get it. So this one is completely mixed reality. So again, it's only going to be working on the 3S or the 3. And what happens is this alien spaceship comes in, lands in the middle of your room and then these little fluff balls start appearing and bouncing all over the room. And you have to get them with the lasers. Again, is this violent? It doesn't feel violent. You shoot them and then they like turn into these jelly balls that go into the spaceship. And again, it's just, it, this is so fun. But again, it's like making that space real. And those little balls are so 3D. And so looking at those and just interacting, this one is a little bit more fast paced, so it's not like good for slowing down, but really fun, 10 out of 10 for fun. And and again, like having that, that um, virtual little fluff ball bouncing around, it's easier for your brain to make that 3D, right? So you're practicing this 3D tracking, they're bouncing all over the place, so you have to follow them but it's in your real space. So again, it's like that bridge between reality and virtual reality. Then the last app that I'm using a ton, um, some for vision therapy purposes, some to try to get in better shape, is FitXR. There's a ton of different workout apps on the Oculus. I'm really liking this one right now. First month is free, and then after that, it's I think $12.99 a month or about $100 for the whole year. So I don't know. So. 
just as like a normal person, a 38 year old woman trying to get in shape in January. <laughs> really fun workouts. They have like boxing and dance and Zumba and hit workouts. And some of it is like, like a beat saber where there's, you know, certain balls coming towards you that you have to punch and you know, you have to punch everything with your right hand is blue and your left hand is yellow or vice versa. And there's like squats and all the things, right? So, and you can do it in mixed reality so you can put it into your regular space. So there's that, but then there's other ones where balls just appear and you have to punch them, okay? So all of it, a ton of variety, so many fun workouts. I really, really think it's fun, okay? On the vision therapy side of things, um, there's another one that I, it's called Slam and it's one section of this app. So you, you may as well get the, the free month and then just try it because it's, it's real fun. It reminds me of um, one of the exercises that they'll do in a lot of vision therapy offices. We don't have this in our office, which is why it made me really excited. Um, but there are these, I think they're called blaze pods. And they're these little pods that you kind of put all over the room and then they light up and you have to be watching kind of peripherally for where they come and then you run and you push the button. And you're trying, so this is like building your reaction time, um, memory, like there's so much, um, so many amazing visual skills that you're building through this. And to buy this for your office is like $2,000 to get the Blaze Pod set. And it's amazing, like so cool. But it's basically that in virtual reality, which it's like so much cheaper and more, you know, you don't have to set it up. So what happens is, it, again, it goes into mixed reality completely, takes a big picture of your room, you can make it as big as you want, and these little balls appear and you have to punch them with the correct hand. And they can be on the ceiling, they can be on the floor, they'll go across the room, they're all over. And so you're constantly trying to like be aware peripherally to find where the next ones are gonna come. So that's a great one for peripheral. It's a really good workout, especially the ones where you have to jump to get them in the air. And it, again, it's really fun. It's bringing that virtual into the actual world. So there's a lot of good things. Honestly, you could take any app that you are using on virtual reality and be aware of your periphery and think about the space, right? All of those things and it's gonna become a great exercise for your vision. These are the ones that I'm loving right now. If you are like me, new to the virtual reality world, don't want anything too intense or complicated, some of these ones that I've tried are like playing Mario Brothers in virtual reality. It's just a little too much. I don't have time to like, I'm not gonna spend hours on it. I want something that I can just jump in, do something for five or 10 minutes and then be done. And so that's part of why I like these specific apps is there's not a lot of like backstory to them. It's just like you're in and it's done. I have links for all of these different apps that I'm talking about in the description. If you want more information about these apps, you can go over to disturbismasolutions.com. And if you would like to schedule a Zoom call with me, buy the courses that I offer, or get any of the different digital downloads that I have, you can go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com. And we will see you in the next video.